Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, and today I'm going to be talking about 10 tips on dressing taller. This is a video that supports my article over at The Art of Manliness, which you can go to the article right here. And if you're interested in reading or watching more video about, well, when it comes to dressing tips, then just go visit me over at realmenrealstyle.com or a tailored suit. All right, so let's jump right into the 10 tips. The important thing you need to remember whenever you're wanting to dress taller is to keep it streamlined. So you always want people's eyes to be easily go to easily go up and down. You don't want people getting stuck on a particular uh, piece of clothing or to look like a square box or to, you know, for any type of horizontal lines in any of your clothing. So that's the fundamental rule is you want to create a streamlined look. So the first one is monochromatic. And what do I mean by this? I mean, going with one solid color scheme it doesn't have to be a suit. What it needs to be is you don't want to cut your body in half. So don't choose a shirt, let's say a white shirt with a dark pair of pants. All that does is draw attention to the contrast area, which is going to be right at your waistline and it cuts you in half, creates this horizontal line going right across. That's not what you want. You want to create vertical lines going up and down. You want to create that streamlined look. Now, you don't have to match them exactly. I'm not, if you're wearing denim, denim pants, you don't have to wear a denim shirt, but you do need to try to minimize the contrast a bit. So if you're going to go with a lighter shirt, consider a lighter pair of khakis. Again, they don't have to both be white. In fact, that probably wouldn't look great for a lot of complexions. But again, just think monochromatic. Think about having less contrast so the eyes can go up and down. And, you know, the, the best thing, in my opinion, for a slimming effect is a suit, just the lines and everything. But, you know, again, that's probably not going to be for every situation. If you're wearing shorts and a uh, shorts and a I don't know, a, uh, a sports shirt, then make sure that, you know, they're similar in terms of, I mean, if you're wearing madras uh, shorts, you're not going to find a shirt that's, you know, you don't want to wear a madras shirt. But what you do want to do is make sure that, okay, this has a lot of color in it. I'm going to perhaps go with a shirt that has a little bit of color in it as well so that the eyes can go up and down. All right, vertical patterns, number two. So this one I'm sure you've heard before you want to go with lines and what the lines do that go up and down is they basically provide a path, a road for the eyes to go up and down on. This creates the illusion of added height. I mean, if you take a picture of a man, uh, one of them with, uh, you know, wearing a striped suit, the other guy let's see, simply wearing a uh, check suit or something that's got lines going across, optically, the guy with the lines going up and down, the vertical lines, they're going to make him look taller. And this applies across anything. So if you're going to be putting on a pair of trousers, get rid of the cuff. You don't want that horizontal line there at the bottom. If you're going to be uh, wearing a jacket, avoid ticket pockets. In fact, you know, tuck in your pockets and, and try to go with the jetted look. You just want things, again, we're getting back to streamline. You want to make sure you've got as many vertical lines, as many vertical patterns going up and down and minimize the horizontal. All right, close fit. Probably one of the most important points I'll talk about. Most men in the United States wear their clothing one to two sizes too large. What this does is this makes short men look boxy and short and stout men or short and kind of big men look even bigger. Uh, but it doesn't make them look taller. You want to go with a very close fit. Something that Whenever you put your arms down, that we're going to be able to see a little bit of space between the arms and your torso if you're built like that. You don't ever want something that you put it on and it makes you look boxy because that's just going to make you look shorter. In addition, you want to make sure your trousers or your pants, however, fit you well, that the inseam goes as high as, as you can get it. Uh, most of the times you're going to, especially if it's a off the rack pair of trousers, uh, dress trousers, dress slacks, something like that. What you're going to find is the crotch is going to hang low. You want to eliminate that. Think about you want to go for a jean fit because the longer your legs look, the taller you are going to look. In addition, your, your jacket, you want to make sure that's cut right. Not only does it fit you tight in the torso, but it's going to be, you want it a bit shorter. You want to show a little, little bit of your back end on that. You know? And what that does is it makes you look more proportional. It makes you look taller. Uh, and you're going, again, for a tight silhouette. And that is going to give the illusion of height as well. All a box frame does is it just makes you look stocky 
and it makes you look shorter. Um, smaller proportions. Now this is something that it's harder to get with off the rack, but, but you can adjust a few things. What you want is you don't want really wide lapels on your jackets. You don't want to wear a tie that, that's really wide. You want to wear things that are proportional to your body. Why does a short man look short? Why does a tall man look tall? The reason they do is because their head in proportion to their body. Human heads pretty much stay the same, even though a, a man who's five foot two versus a man who's seven foot two, their head is actually going to be pretty similar in size. But you think about it, you've got a two foot window there in which their limbs are a lot taller. So tall men look like giants because their head in proportion to their body is, uh, is smaller. While short men look short simply because their head in proportion to their body looks bigger. So understanding that, you want to pay attention to other proportions. It's not much you can do about the size of your head, although there are a few things with the jacket and everything. But what you want to look at, make sure that the, if you have big feet and you're short, wear shoes that are more delicate. Don't wear big thing, you know, big ones with huge, uh, huge soles, big rubber, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you just don't want to make things which make any part of your body look bigger. And the same thing with, with on the clothing. Uh, a lot of clothing is going to be made to fit tons of men, and so you, they're going to make the lapels the same size. You want smaller lapels. You want smaller pockets. Um, all this stuff, you want just a bit smaller. You want thinner ties. And what this is going to do, it's small percentages, but this is going to make you look more proportional, and it's going to give the illusion, you know, not to they're up close, that they realize, wow, he's only he's only five foot five. He's only five foot four. Okay. You want to draw attention to the top. So this is number five, attention grabbers up on top. And what do I mean by attention grabbers? Pocket square, uh, a little pin in the, uh, you know, here in the boutonniere hole. Perhaps you're going to uh, be wearing wearing a, cap, you know, a, a hat or something. In any case, uh, be careful on hats though. You know, you don't want it. I, I've heard th there's different arguments. Some people say they actually do make you look shorter. Other people say they make you look taller. I say you need to be comfortable in the hat. And if you're used to wearing the hat, then go ahead and pull it off. But if you're not, don't wear a hat just because you want it to make you just because you want it to make you look taller. It's going to look unnatural. You need to be comfortable in the hat and confidence and comfort. That, that always makes you look a little bit taller. But uh, attention grabbers. Again, this is just keeping the attention up on. You don't want people to you know be focused on your feet to be focused on your lower body. You want them always to be. At the end of the day, you want them to be looking in your eyes. You want to be having a meaningful conversation because once you start getting to that, your your physical size, all of that kind of goes out the window. So again, keep your attention grabbers up there on top and that can keep the eyes or get their eyes right into your eyes as soon as possible. And then you can be, begin effective communication. All right. Uh, the right clothing. Now, I oftentimes suggest things like a man needs to wear a jacket. A man should avoid shorts, short sleeve shirts. A short man should avoid what else? Uh, he, he should wear his trousers at his natural waist. And when I give these suggestions, sometimes people are like, well, I don't wear anything like that. Can you give me some other tips? Well, you know, that's kind of like uh, you go into a doctor and ask him how you can, you know, lose weight or, or, or get, you know, get in better shape. And he, he says, rest and exercise. And you're like, well, I don't want to do that. I just want to take a pill. Well, <laughs> it's the same thing. There is clothing that there's nothing anyone can do about it. It's just going to make you look bad. Now, I understand that there are, you know, reasons that you have to wear that clothing sometimes. But oftentimes, we don't wear the clothing that looks best on us because we're lazy. So if, if that's the case, you really need to reevaluate this. You don't have to wear shorts all the time. There are things called linen trousers, and these are more comfortable than shorts in many cases. And linen trousers, any type of trouser that, again, creates a more streamlined look, and doesn't have us draw attention to, to your legs is going to make you look taller versus shorts. Now, I realize that you may not be used to wearing a sports jacket, but understand by wearing a sports jacket, you add a little bit of extra height to the shoulders. You build out the shoulders. And when you build out the shoulders, you appear taller. So these little things, they will make you look taller, but you have to wear them. So that's the right clothing. Again, you need to wear the right clothing to make it work. And uh, now I'll move on to actually physically adding height. So what do I mean by actually physically adding height? I mean you're actually wearing shoes that have a bit of a heel. 
And don't overdo this. It's really easy. There are certain types of footwear out there which are designed for shorter men. Avoid those. But look at shoes which do have a heel. Dress shoes are great. They usually have about half an inch to three quarters of an inch of a heel on there. Uh, Western boots are great. We're talking about an inch to an inch and a half. I have a, you know, just a regular pair of Lucases, great boots, and they've got an inch, a good inch and a quarter heel. I love it because it knocks me up, you know, to, to five foot ten. I'm naturally just under five foot nine. I like to say I'm five foot nine. But it's one of those things that you feel the difference and it looks natural and it works. Avoid the extreme heels though. They're gonna just they're just gonna look bad, especially on the front of the foot. You can usually tell if uh if on the sole, if it starts to go more than half an inch, three quarters of an inch, you're getting into extremes there. Be careful. Don't go down that route. It just looks it looks too planned and, and it just doesn't look right. Okay, number eight, shop internationally. Here in the United States, the average man is big. And so the clothing is made for the average man. And these are bigger men. You want to, if you're a small man, look to countries like Japan, Italy, Spain. These countries have, on average, smaller men. And so the clothing is built for these smaller men, Japan especially. Um, shorter men that go over there, especially when it comes to dress clothing, they find that it is just a paradise when it, when it comes to being able to walk into a store and be able to try something on and it fits you right. Now, now the problem is, is a lot of the best stores do not have an English uh, English variant. You can use Google Translate, but that only works to a certain extent. Uh, and there are a couple companies out there which will broker and they'll go actually shopping for you. Uh, ideally, though, you want to travel to these countries. And what makes it worth it? Well, if you're going to spend a couple thousand dollars on your wardrobe and you know this is why you're going over, then you know look for a cheap fare, fly over there, get a great international experience, and come back looking like a million dollars and with clothing that actually fits you. All right, shopping in the young men's department. A lot of guys don't like to do this. They feel it's like a really a knock to their pride, but you will find some great deals there. And the, the best thing, yeah, is that are, they're gonna be deals in the sense of the clothing is a lot of times less expensive in the young man's department. Uh, the thing that you have to watch for is that the clothing in the young man's department is often gonna be a bit more fashion forward or the clothing is, how can I say, um, it, it's built for a young man in terms of his uh, stance and his torso, uh, the build of the torso, basically his stomach is, big, is smaller than his chest. A lot of times uh, once we get into our 30s and 40s and 50s, our, we start to stoop over a bit more, our stomachs expand a bit, and that's when it becomes much harder to shop in this department because the clothing isn't made for that at that point in your age. So it's not made for that body type. Uh, the final thing I'll mention is going custom. As a custom clothier, I can tell you that about 20% of my clients are hard to fit. Are, well, actually, they're, they're small men. Probably close to 50% of my clients are hard to fit men. But about 20% are small men. And these are men who just simply don't have the time, they don't have the inclination, or they want to come to me as an expert, and they want me to build clothing, which has everything which we just said above. So that's, you know, it's usually a bit more pricey, but when it comes to value, custom, it's hard to beat it. And if you've never tried it, I, I would highly advise looking custom. In addition, there are specialty shops. So there are stores out there which specialize in short men. And these are great stops as well. The clothing is going to be a little bit more expensive. You're not going to see as many sales. Again, because they target this very tight demographic, they have to, you know, the they're going to be limited also in their location. Uh, they're going to be pretty much on the East Coast, West Coast. You're not going to, that's pretty much where you're going to find them. They're very limited, but um, I know some of them do travel, and uh, I'll put links to some uh, in the article. All right, this is Antonio Centeno. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and make sure to go check out the, uh, the article over at The Art of Manliness. Thank you.